with games demanding high-end PCs while you are having a 1050 Ti GPU and a Ryzen 2nd Gen CPU. You just get frustrated and now you are looking to buy a new PC. You are looking and searching in the internet, going to Amazon and, and all the different places where you can buy PC parts and then you realize you don't have enough money. So you get frustrated even more. I just told you my life story right now. But every year Steam brings this Steam Game Festival which means it will bring you some really cool game demos which is free to download for you guys to try out all these amazing games. Hundreds and hundreds of these games are available right now and all these games do not require high-end PCs. Maybe not all games because I didn't have all the time in the world to play hundreds of games but these 5 games for sure 100% will work in low-end PCs. So here are some of the best free Steam games from Steam Game Festival. Number one I'm going to talk about is this game called Graven. Now this game is like Doom in medieval setting and in very low graphics. And Magic. In this game you're a protagonist who is sent on this place where some virus type of thing has affected the people that made them go violent. Don't worry this is not another one of those zombie games because we have way too many my god. Now you have a staff initially and you use this staff only to do some damage but then you also get a book of magic with which you can use different spells. One of them is spitting fire from your hands which won't kill the enemy but will definitely reduce the health and you can use this staff to you know kill that enemy easily. Now it's not just using the staff forever, you will and you can buy some more weapons. Now in this game there's coins that you can collect inside the game. Using those coins you can buy certain items from someone who's selling those kind of items. So I saw a sword, I also saw a crossbow, there are more weapons, I just didn't exactly see everything because the game crashed on me. Well how can you get these coins? Well you can destroy barrels. Well you can also destroy boxes and much more things to get these coins. Not only that you can actually destroy the pile of dead bodies lying just on the floor and the sound of that is mmm yum. I, I mean the sound is, is just, it's just very good. It's just not yum. It's just it's you know it's good. It's good. We're gonna leave at that. So you get these weapons, you use these weapons and destroy all these monsters or people or zombies or whatever they are. Use a crossbow maybe or any other weapon and then go for different objectives. You can actually roam around this particular small area a little bit to get to know what's happening around the area and where do you need to work on. Again as I said it's a mixture of doom because you're actually slaying everyone very quickly. You're not using guns however because it's a medieval style of game you're not using guns instead you're using some melee weapons and if possible possible a crossbow but it still is really fun. Next up is a horror game but once you start playing it you will feel that you have landed in the alien movie. The designs in this game are very much similar to that of alien movie and by some way if you haven't heard about this this movie yet which is baffling then there is this game that you must have heard called Scorn. Now Scorn is a game where you are in this unsettling environment like there are some weird things that you cannot describe but they're still there and you still love it and you hate it at the same time. It's a very love-hate kind of relationship. You the protagonist are in this cult and this cult also believes in joining a cult of ecstasy for some reason. It usually goes like oh we're gonna get some blessing, we will be getting some power, something like that. It's usually some things like that. It has nude scenes. Not only that, not just nude scenes, not just people standing naked. It's just people just having sex. You will actually see porn in the game like really you will see it. Apparently it's some cult of lust that these guys want to join and this cult of lust or whatever it is is connected to another world through a portal and now you need to go in and do something. Well it is more of a take a look around, find these objects, solve some puzzles and run away from monster kind of horror game. Although the game does have a lot of jump scares some of which actually got me even it's just the sound, it's just the sound, they, they are too loud. But the game is mostly built around this world that you go into in this very unsettling world that you have to be in in order to find something or do something and have lust of have lust there you go that that's what this game is all about love sex and pain if that interests you yeah that that's the game <laughs> the next game is an incredible looking game called black Book. It is more of an RPG style-ish game where you the protagonist want to become a witch because she wants to bring her dead husband back. And in order to bring him back you have to do certain things, you have to do certain actions which will lead you to bring him back apparently. 
It uses a mix of exploration, even though it's very small area of exploration, a mystery solving and combat. You fight these demons in the world, but before you fight, you must chat with them. If you cannot win in a fight, you can always chit chat later. You can have this relationship, you know? Come on man, it's demons. Fight! Now this combat system is a turn based combat system. You pick out 3 spells which can either attack the opponent or give defend points to you so that if the opponent strikes, you can defend. It's more of a card based game like if you have seen any card games on PC, it's based on that where you select these cards that will help you defeat the enemy. So you really need to see what these attack cards are and how much damage it can give to the enemy. Not only that, even think about what the enemy can do, how much attack that can do and so that you can use this card of defense and defend yourself if possible. Another cool thing is it's not open world but you do go from one place to another but using a map. Once you reach that location, try to see what's happening and based on what you see, you take a decision and that decision is supposed to change the way you behave with people or how much people respect you. It's more of a choice based game where you decide how you want to portray this character to all the people who are living in that place. The game does need a bit of work especially when it comes to character models because they're sort of bland but it also does not need a lot of work at the same time. Maybe a little bit tweak here and there in graphics but apart from that everything looks absolutely great. It's a very low end game and I really love how it is made in very less amount of assets used and it's very simple and it's very optimized and very less as I said less resources used. It's always a plus. Coming up next is this game called Shady Knight and my god what can I say about this game. It's a fast paced action game where you can also use some style points and use it to your advantage. It's a very fast paced and amazing game. You can easily compare this game with Ghost Runner if you know about that game. It is more of a cyberpunk ish type of game where you are using the sword, you are walking fast, you are running fast, running on the wall and then sliding and slashing the enemy. It is somewhat like that. The demo didn't show the game having any story but it's mostly first person action with interactive fights. You can slide, climb walls, slide and kick, kick in general, jump on top of someone's head and then you kick and you can gain some flight. You can even use some weapons such as swords or bow and arrow and just use jump, slide and many more ways to get style points and get a score from A to D. I know there's a score system in this game, it's one of those android games where you get scores if you finish a level but it's more than that because you actually have fun, a really really good amount of fun playing it. You can usually have enemies such as crabs or knights with sword or knights with the bow and arrow and you need to be quick enough to kill them with the acrobatic skills. That's it, that's basically the entire game. All you need to do, go fast, climb fast and try to finish one level in the least amount of time. And my number one pick is Lost Words Beyond the Page. One of the most innovative games that I have played in 2021. It's a narrative adventure game that takes place inside of a diary. It's a 2D game where words have immense power. You see a word which is used in a sentence and that word will have a lot of power. For example, there was a sentence saying I blew out the candles and there was this word blue that you can use as an interactive object. So the next page had this cake with candles lit. So you use this blue word and you literally drag it around those candles and the candles light blew away. Which is amazing because you're interacting that blue word with the candles which is actually blowing out the candles. The game doesn't need the diary all the time, after some time you do go to the location and move the character around but the narration never stops and even in there, there are some words that you can use for your advantage. Even in this game there is a book similar to that of Black Book where this book contains words which you can use for your advantage. For example there is a word called rice, so anybody is lifting something which is very heavy for them, you can use this word and that can help that object rise up in the air. It's absolutely phenomenal. The diary tells the tales of this place called Astoria and you are the one who needs to protect this place with the power of words. The voice acting in this game is absolutely splendid. That's the main reason why I fell in love with this game. Then come the art style, then come what the game has, then come the innovative gameplay. Overall this game is very good. There was another game which really blew me away with voice acting and that was Firewatch and I still really adore that game because that game has a lot of cool stuff, especially the voice acting. And in my opinion this game has the same, it's the voice acting just lets me feel and think about or think like the character. I want to know more about that character, that how much this demo wants me to play this game when it finally comes out. 
So there you go. These are some of the cool game demos that are free right now on Steam that you can try out. Not forever, but only until 9th of February. That's right, till Tuesday because these demos are available till then. But these are not the only games. There are literally 500 games available on Steam. So you can go ahead and check it out one by one. But these are the games that I played and I found them really, really cool. And that's why I'm, I'm mentioning to you this in this video. Well, I hope you had a good time and got to know about these really amazing games. And if you did, leave a like, comment down below what do you think. Will you guys be trying out some of these games or will you guys be looking around for some more games? And do not forget to subscribe because that is very important. Unless you will miss out some awesome content coming out very, 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 very soon. Well, then I will see you guys next time.